Disney Dreamlight Valley's Dream Snap Summer Update will officially launch on July 19th at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And today we're going to talk about everything that's coming with this new update. The website says that on Wednesday we'll be racing into new quests with Penelope and that we'll be getting our first multiplayer feature called Dream Snaps. So let's take a look at the new content and improvements that we can expect to see. It says flex your creativity and compete in weekly community-wide photo challenges with Dream Snaps. Each week, earn a variety of prizes for participating, including moonstones, furniture, and clothing items. In my last video about this update, we talked about the ability to earn more moonstones and that everyone will be able to earn an extra 300 moonstones per week by participating in the challenges. You'll also be able to earn another 50 moonstones for voting. And from what I understand, you either get one vote per week or you're just limited to the 50 moonstones. I don't think that you get 50 per vote. It would be chaos if you could vote repeatedly and get 50 moonstones every time. So I'm pretty sure that that's how that's going to work. It's going to be 350 moonstones and then you can earn more if you rank higher from people voting for you. But this is all in addition to the moonstones that you can earn in the blue chests in the game, which is amazing. This next part is pretty interesting and I think it's going to make a huge difference in the challenges. It says that Touch of Magic clothing and furniture are not compatible with Dream Snaps and cannot be included in submissions in order to keep the feature a fun environment for all players. So this is how they're going to make it more fair for everyone. I have seen some really elaborate designs from players who are really great with the Touch of Magic tool, but for a lot of us, it's really difficult to use. And I can see younger players or people like me who are just not that great at design have a hard time with it. So I like that you'll be able to submit photos using items that are found or purchased in the game. I do think that's more fair. I would, however, still love to see the designs that people come up with, so maybe there will be a way for people to share those in the future, or maybe even like specific challenges for the Touch of Magic feature. Vanellope loads into the valley, bringing with her some sweet new friendship quests and items to earn. So this is kind of cool. I figured that Vanellope would glitch into the game like she does in the movies, or maybe kind of break that fourth wall, as they say, where she knows that this is a video game that she's in. Um, this does confirm that she's not going to have a realm just yet, but we are getting a very cute candy house for her, and she'll have her race car as well. I'm really excited to see what her friendship quests are like and what kind of rewards we'll be getting for those. Keep up with Penelope with more efficient hovering. The energy drain when hovering has been reduced by 80% giving you more bang for your energy buck. This is awesome. I definitely agree that the hovering feature drains your energy way too fast, but I'm honestly surprised that they lowered the rate at which it runs out by so much. That's going to be a game changer. So here they start to address some of the issues with the Nintendo Switch, which has been notorious for crashing and having a lot of bugs and whatnot. The video capture feature built into the Nintendo Switch hardware has been disabled, helping reduce the frequency of crash rates. The dev team is continuing to closely monitor this topic as they consider further changes to improve performance. Please note that the video capture via capture card and screenshot capture on Switch are unaffected and will continue to function as expected. General stability has been improved on Nintendo Switch. We can continue to explore further means of optimization for future updates. So this is good news for Switch players. Hopefully this means that they're figuring out why that platform is having such a hard time and they're working on a resolution for that. It doesn't look like the item count has increased yet like it has for other platforms, but really I just think people want to be able to play the game without it crashing, so this is good. The inventory of Scrooge McDuck's store has received a slight rebalance to reduce the chance of duplicates appearing. This is a small preliminary tweak as we investigate this topic further and look into changes that could be made for future updates. 
Now, this is a big deal. I don't think there is much that they can do about the repeat issue once you've gotten to a point where I am where you already own most of the items in the game. There are going to be repeats just because there has to be things in the shop, but this will mean that you're more likely to get new things in Scrooge's shop until you've gotten everything that there is. There are definitely some things I still haven't gotten even though I get the same picture of Mickey and potted plants almost every single day. I'm really glad they're going to be working on Scrooge's shop because it's such a fun part of the game. I do remember being really excited about new items when I first started playing, but I've struggled with it for months now because I just don't get a lot of new things. We're also going to have new items in the premium shop. Some things we saw in the trailer for update number 5 and other things we've seen leaked online. We know for sure that we're getting a beach house skin, a summer dream style for Merlin, a new companion, and some new clothing items as well. Okay, so let's take a quick look at all of the bug fixes. I'm just going to go over some of what I think are the biggest ones. I see here that the issue with the bordered pads being flipped around and messed up will be fixed, so that's really good news. The glitch in Scrooge's shop where the name and image of the item you click on was being displayed incorrectly is getting fixed. A bunch of quest issues are getting fixed as well, so if you've had a problem with any of these quests, those will be taken care of. And then some localization, visual, and sound fixes, and more little things like that. So that is it for the patch notes. I'm wondering if we're going to get a trailer for this update. Usually we get an update trailer and then the patch notes shortly after. We may not have a trailer for this one though because this update is a lot different than the major content updates that we're used to. This one is what I'm calling a mini update or kind of a part two of update number five. We are getting a new character and a little storyline with her through her friendship quests, but this update is really to test out the Dream Snaps feature. It's the first bit of multiplayer that we're getting in the game, so it's kind of a big deal, and I can understand why they would want to put it in its own update. They have made it pretty clear that the Dream Snaps feature will be evolving over time. What we're getting this week is going to be its most basic form, and as we go, there will be trial and error, and it's going to take some time to figure out what's going to work best. I kind of wanted to just throw that in there because I know that this feature is going to come with a lot of issues because it's a major change to the structure of the game. That all being said though, I'm really excited about it and I will most definitely have a video up on Wednesday showing you how Dream Snaps works and telling you what I think of it. So make sure you're subscribed and you have your notifications on so you don't miss that. I would also really appreciate it if you liked the video and checked out all of my new social media accounts that are linked in the description box. Let me know what you think of this summer update in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching today, friends, and thank you again to my amazing members. I hope you all have a magical day today, and I will see you again really soon. Bye!